Hello everybody, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we're going to take a look at our dual 55 inch outdoor grade monitor lift case. So this case is designed for anybody that is looking to do video presentation to a small or medium format crowd. Um, the way that video is inputted into the case is via these detachable uh, side mounted tables. Now these tables can mount to any of the four sides of the case and are sturdy enough so that you can do your presentation from the case via a laptop or tablet or anything that outputs video via HDMI. So on each one of these removable tables, you have a courtesy outlet here that gives you two AC power outlets in addition to a USB-A and a USB-C. Um, so right now video is inputting into the system via this panel, via my laptop on our mobile um, tech work box. So um, this is the shelf in its deployed mode. Here is the other shelf in its storage mode. This just gives you an idea about how it's built. Um, so the back portion of the power is in this fully enclosed back box, and the HDMI and power cable run into a 10-foot adjustable cable that you can put on any side of the case that you'd like, uh, which features a AC, just regular power input, and a locking HDMI. So going around to the back side of the case where this uh, table actually plugs into is our main control panel. Now here, we see that this is our HDMI input one feeding monitor A, and we can also have another, uh, so this would be in theory where the other shelf would be HDMI in two feeding monitor B. Now on this shelf, we've got two uh, AC inputs, which this is feeding the shelf, and it is cleverly named shelf power, just so you know what you're looking at. Um, and then we also have an HDMI matrix that allows you to have four independent input sources that can be fed to either of the TVs um, independently or simultaneously. So right now we're at HDMI input one, where HDMI input one is shown here and here, meaning that we're showing the same video signal to both monitors. Now these are 55 inch Sura outdoor grade monitors that are mounted on an electric lift. Um, you can operate the lift via either a remote control or you can use this side button right here. We'll just make this go up a little higher. To our fully extended height here. Now looking at the video input section, like I was explaining a little bit before, um, you can have four HDMI inputs feeding this system either simultaneously or independently. So two of your HDMI inputs are available on this panel right here. And then we also have a side patch panel that is mounted on the side of the case that gives you your three and four inputs. Now also on this panel, you have two blank punches right here that allow you to either use a RJ45 or an SDI input. So should you wanna feed video to the monitor, that's another source other than HDMI. You can just pop these punches out right here and put your own connector in. Excuse me, there are also, there's also a network jack right here that feeds your um, Ethernet WAN signal to both of the monitors. There's a network switch in there. And then we also have a duplex courtesy outlet. So one of the benefits of having the side panel down there versus just our, um, our main input source is if you don't want to use the shelves, you can just have signal coming into the case via the side panel. So the shelves are completely optional. You don't need them to operate the system. Um, you can actually unplug this HDMI cable right here and plug any HDMI cable in and it will still hit the, um, the matrix. So one of the benefits of this system is that it has audio built into both monitors. Now audio traveling over HDMI can switch via the switching matrix and still go to both screens. So if we, and we can unmute this for just a quick second. Start you can hear the audio here, and this can all this can also have simultaneous audio on the other side. So one of the cool things about using these heavy-duty 
outdoor grade mm -hmm. monitors are that within the audio programming of the menu, you actually have delay compensation and also speech compensation. So if you're noticing that over a long distance or with any type of issue that you may have with your video signal, if audio and video aren't lining up, you can, uh, you can adjust that within the monitor uh, settings without having any type of additional processing. And then also, if you're having any type of phasing uh, between the sound sources on the right or the left side, you can actually have some delay compensation there too, which is, which is really nice. Um, so we really like to spec outdoor monitors whenever humanly possible. Um, they're just, they're built a lot better. It's a more durable product. Uh, these are a fully metal uh, bezel for this. And the, the screen is actually glass instead of the very, very thin plastic that you may be used to on a consumer grade monitor. Uh, the input section on the back here is fully enclosed. Uh, this is actually a hinged section here to uh, hide all of the inputs. And then you can access it by just loosening these screws here. And then also on the side of the case, this is the, um, the input uh, umbilical. So that's HDMI network and uh, the audio input from the speaker. And on this side here, we've got a locking IEC cable. So that's something that we at LM, um, we replace the factory IEC power cords with a locking cable. Um, so the last little bit of feature that I would like to show here is the retractable power cable. So when you're using this case, you actually don't have to bring any power. This is a 75 foot uh, power reel that's built into the side of the case that is retractable. So all you have to do is click it and it will retract. Um, if anybody has any questions, please just drop a comment below. Uh, this case is available uh, for purchase at lmcasesonline.com. There will be a link below for that. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, you can email me directly at billy at lmcases.com. Check out our website, lmcases.com, or you can call us via the old school way of the phone, 800-874-8326. Hope everybody has a great day, and thank you very much for stopping by.